I S U P K. They try to tell me I can't win all because of the skin I'm in. But then I look in the mirror again, and then we realize we better than them. We better than them. They divided and they conquered my kin Been separated by the pigmentation of our skin It's just that white supremacy agenda again They want your mind and gold, cutting sugar cane, turning cotton jigs We left the plantation, then they pushed us into tenements Police patrolling, hunting all my people like we're venison The government's the criminals, they the real terrorists Moving more coke than a Cuban watching pelicans Selling all the dope, trying to kill us with the medicine You a slave if you think that we're American America was great before the pilgrims from side of settlement, Trump gets in office, blacks uniting with the Mexicans, black Hispanic, Haitians, Jamaicans, we all relatives. Yes, Salam Porta Spain. We are the ISCPK, out of One West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yahana. We have been teaching the truth according to this Bible since 1969. That the so-called black man, native Indian man, and the Hispanic man are of the 12 lowest tribes of the nation of Israel. Right. What we have been taught in the Christian church does not give the so-called black man understanding of who he is today. And we're going to go into the scriptures to make the so-called black man get the proper understanding and the proper balance of the scriptures. All right? Give me the book of Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1. Can you can? The book of Proverbs Chapter 11 and verse 1. A false balance is abomination to the Lord. What is, what is the abomination, Salakia? Read it again. A false balance is abomination to the Lord. So the scriptures are saying that a false balance is an abomination to the most high power. Why the ISUPK? Why we tell the so-called black man today? That a false balance is an abomination to the Most High. It is because your Christian pastor have taught you that the scriptures is speaking about all love. But these things are not according to the scriptures. Read it again. The book of Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1. A false balance is abomination to the Lord. A false balance is an abomination unto the Most High. You know? But a, but a just weight is his delight. But a just weight is the most high's delight. So the so-called black man in the ISUPK is saying to you today that the most high power is a God that kills and he makes alive. The so-called black man is letting you to know, know today in the ISUPK that God is not all of. There is something that God hates. And there are some things that the most high power that he loves. And the so-called black man must understand that today. The so-called black man must understand the characteristics of the most high God. So when you hear the scriptures, so-called black man, you are going to understand what the scriptures are saying to you. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 12, and verse 25. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Every kingdom, so-called black man, divided against itself is brought into desolation. Your Christian pastor have taught you all of. Your fake Israelite groups have taught you all of. All races are in these organizations. But the most I saying that a false balance is an abomination. There are some things that is love by the Most High, and there are some things that are hated That's by right. the Most High. That's right. And the Most High loves the so-called black man, native Indian man, and the Hispanic man. Right. And the Most High hates the other nations. Right. The Most High hates the other races, and we are going to show to you that even Yahweh Shai does the same thing as the Most High power. Right. You know? And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And every city or every house that is the might divided among itself cannot stand. So when you join all these fake Israelite groups, 
and all these churches that is divided against the ISUPK, the scriptures are letting you know that these groups, these organizations that the ISUPK is not affiliated with, these groups and organizations will not stand according to the scriptures. Because the Most High Power is saying that a kingdom against it, divided against itself, cannot stand. Right. And if you are saying that you are about building the kingdom of God and you are divided against the ISUPK, according to the prophecies of the Bible, you will not stand. And we're going to prove, prove to you that in the scriptures, in the New Testament, God loves some things and he hates other things. And the so-called black man, it's, it's time for you to get that balance and understanding of your God and of your power. Right. So that you will not be abomination unto the Most High by you coming out and saying, like your Christian pastor, God loves everybody. Like right. your Christian pastor says, we are all equal. These things are not according to the scriptures. You must, be a, you must have balance, so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man. Right. Read. Can or can. The book of Romans, chapter 9, and verse 13. As it is written. As it is what? As it is written. This is written in the Old Testament. Read on. Jacob, have I loved? Who have I loved? Jacob, have I loved? The Mosai is saying, so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man, you are the ones that the Most High God have loved. That's right. The Most High Power is showing you in your history, in your records, that he have loved you, so-called black man. Read on. But Esau have I hated. Who have I hated? But Esau have I hated. But the Most High Power said that he have hated the so-called oppressor. The Most High said that he have hated the so-called white man because of his nature. Right. Because of his deceit, right. because of his evil doings. Right, right. Wake up and understand the so-called black man. Because the so-called black man must understand that there are all different races on the planet, but we are all different people. Right. We all have a different spirit, so-called black man. And learn your records to understand who you are. Right. The so-called black man is the most forgiven people on the planet, unlike the other races. Right. Right. After they have murdered you, and lynched you and raped you all during slavery still to this day right. you know what you say this white man is my friend this chinese here this is my friend this east indian here this is my friend and the so-called black man must take that love that you give to all these other nations and all these other races and give this love to your people so-called black man right. Right. All right, read. And okay. the book of malachi chapter one and verse two I have loved you, said the Lord. Read it again. I have loved you, said the Lord. And the most I say to the so-called black man, I have loved you, so-called black man. Read on. Yet he said, wherein have thou loved us? And what the so-called black man is saying, Oh Lord, where have you loved us? How have you loved us, most high? Read on. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? And the most I say, Pay attention, so-called black man. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Were they not brothers? Were they not from the same mother and father? But read on. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Say the Lord. Yet I love Jacob. But what? Yet I love Jacob. And all of they were brothers from the same womb. And as the scriptures say, they were two different manner of people. Yet the most I said, you came from the same womb. But I have loved you, so-called black man. I have chosen you, so-called black man, to be this special people that are on the face of the earth. And it's time for the so-called black man to understand, realize, recognize the love that the Most High have shown you by choosing you to be this special people, so-called black man. Right. Read on. Verse 3. And, and I hated Esau. And he have what? And I hated Esau. And the most I said, and he have hated Esau. The so-called oppressor, the most I have always hated the oppressor. Right. The oppressor that has you so-called black man in the ghettos and in the slums today. Right. The so-called the oppressors that have you working nine to five jobs like a rat race and a KRC away so-called black man. Right. The most I saying to you that you have hated 
this oppressor. You don't right. And led his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. And the most I said that he have laid his heritage and his mountains waste. And we must thank the most high for that. For choosing the so-called black man to be above and to be that separate people above all people that are on the face of the earth. Right. Because we're going to show you so-called black man that all things the most high does, he does these things revolving around his people, right. around his children, right. around his chosen people, so-called black man. Right. Because the scripture said that he have created the earth for your sake, so-called right. black man. Right. The most high power have created the earth for you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 8. When the most high divided to the nations their inheritance. Read that again. When the most high divided to the nations their inheritance. So the most high God divided to all the races their inheritance. Every race on the planet received their inheritance from the most high power. But read on. When he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations. Right, when the Most High divided the nations, we don't. Their inheritance. When he separated the sons of Adam. When he did what? Separated the sons of Adam. The Most High said that he separated the sons of Adam. And if your Christian leaders, if your Imams were about the spirit of the Most High, they would have preserved the works of the Most High power as he separated the sons of Adam, he would have made the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man to understand that you need to be separate also. Right. He would have carried on the tradition and the works of the Most High power and said to you so-called black man, be ye separate. You know? I don't care. He set the bonds of the people. He did what? Set the bonds of the people. The Most High set the bonds of all the people of the planet. Read on. I don't care. According to the number of the children of Israel. According to what? The number of the children of Israel. He did this according to the number of the children of Israel. Right. This is making you to know, so called black man, that without you, there is no reason and purpose for these other races on the planet so-called black man. Right. Learn your culture. That's right. Learn what the Mosai says about you, so-called black man. Because all these boundaries were set according to the, the number of the children of Israel. Right. Which is the so-called black man, native Indian man, and the Hispanic man today. The so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man must understand that this Bible is speaking about you so-called black man. It is showing you your identity, your culture, your laws, and your forefathers, the things that they have prophesied for you so-called black man to be able to survive in these last days. The book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven. And now, here John, he is saying, and I heard another voice from heaven. These things that John is saying was given to the so-called black man. These visions was given to him that he gave these things to the so-called black man, native Indian man and the Hispanic man. Read from the top again. The book of Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Read it again. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her. My people, the most high power is saying to the so-called black man, come out from her. Come out from Babylon, so-called black man. Right, and how right. you do that? By changing your state of mind, so-called black man. Right, right. right. You're going to learn to love your brother, so-called black man. That's right. Learn to love your black woman, so-called black man. That's right. right. Prefer your people, so-called black man, right. above all people. That's right. Come out of her, so-called black man, and understand who you are. If you watch, separation is always a form of protection. Right. Separation was set up by the Most High Power 
to protect the so-called black man, to protect the native Indian man, and to protect the Hispanic man. Right. When I watch, when the corona um, came out overseas, what did the Prime Minister have to do? The Prime Minister had to put the country on lockdown. Why was that? To separate, to separate the people in Trinidad from where? From America. Right. This is the same reference that the most high power is saying to you, so-called black man. Right. Come out of her, so-called black man. That's right. Stop selling the drugs that the heathens carry in the black community, so-called black man. That's right. right. Stop running around with their guns and kill your brother, so-called black man. That's right. right. Come out of her, my people, and do things the way that I have taught you, so-called black man. Right. Love your neighbor as right. yourself, so-called black man. These are the things that the most high power is saying to the so-called black man. Come out of her. We don't. That ye be not partakers of her sins. That what? That ye be not partakers of her sins. That the so-called black man will not be partakers of the sins of Babylon. How do we partake in the sins of Babylon? By worshiping that white Jesus that your grandmother placed over your bed. Yes. Because according to the scriptures, Christ is a black man. Are we going to get that scripture for you next? Because these things are recorded in the Bible. The so-called black man does not want to understand and appreciate his records. That the so-called black man is the one chosen by the most high power. And that he receive none. That he receive not of her plagues. That we receive none of the plagues of Babylon's so-called black man. What all the things that are plaguing us. So many black men in the present. It is time for understand we need to separate, govern our own communities, govern our own villages, so-called black man. That's right. And how are you going to do that? By getting in the ISUPK and learning the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High God. Right. So when you set up your community, so-called black man, you're going to be having laws, you're going to be having rules, and you're going to be having guidelines to run your community so-called black man. That's right. right. All these laws and rules are in the scriptures so-called black man. And these laws and rules will protect you from the heathen so-called black man. When you follow these laws, there will be no need for the police to be up in the communities pretending that they want to help you. Right. By that time, they're dropping one black man into another area to try to get him killed. Right. To cause riots in the black communities. Right. Wake up, so-called black man. It is time for us to come together. Set up our own supermarkets. Right. Govern ourselves, so-called black man. Wake up and understand who you are. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, and verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven. What have happened? For her sins have reached unto heaven. And the most high saying that the sins of Babylon it have reached unto heaven. Countless, innumerable murders by the oppressor. They murdering black people left, right, and center, day and night. And their sins have reached up to heaven. They have set up abortion clinics all over the black communities and encourage our black women to kill their offspring. These things is an abomination to the most high power. And God had remembered her iniquities. And what? And God had remembered her iniquities. And the most I said that he had remembered her iniquities. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. And now John is getting a vision. And John is saying, in the midst of the seven candlesticks, we don't. One like unto the Son of Man. One like who? Unto the Son of Man. One like unto the Son of Man. We don't. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. And when we say the Son of Man, we know that the Son of Man is speaking about Christ or Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. We don't. And girl about the pups with a golden girdle. And what? And girl about the pups with a golden girdle. And he was girded around the pups 
around the midsection area of your body with a golden girl, with a war belt, all right? Because the so-called black man must understand that our power is a god of war. Right. The so-called black man must understand that God is a man of war. And when we say a man of war, we are saying a champion of war. Right. A yes in the Hebrew. That's right. You know what? His head and his hairs were white like wool. His what? His head and his hair were white like wool. All the hairs on the head of our king Yahushai were white and it was like wool. The texture of the hair of the so-called black man. We you know? As white as snow. As what? As white as snow. And it was white as snow. We you don't. Know? And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes, the eyes of our king, Christ, a so-called black man, was red as a flame of fire. The white in his eyes were blood red, like what we, we call bloodshot eyes. When you drink, your eyes get red and get bloodshot. His right. eyes was as a flame of fire. You know? And his feet like unto fine brass. And Christ was a black man. The scriptures are saying that the feet of Christ was like what? Fine brass. Was like fine brass. And we know that brass is a derivative of brown. Right. But not only was Christ's feet brown, but the scriptures is going to make you understand what shade of brown it was, we don't? As if they burned in a furnace. As if they what? As if they burned in a furnace. And his feet was as brass, but as if it burned in past tense, if you burned something, as if it burned in the furnace, showing the so-called black man that Christ was a dark-skinned man. Right. And his voice as a song of many waters. And his voice what? As a song of many waters. And the song of his voice was that as of many waters. Because the so-called black man have been tricked for all these years, learning in the Christian church, God love everybody. God is a God of love. God is a God of compassion. But as we read earlier, a false balance is an abomination. And if God was all, all love, that would have been an abomination. But the most high is showing the so-called black man in all things, there is balance. Right. The same way in the ISUPK, we love the so-called blacks, Native Indians, and Hispanics, and we hate the other nations. Just as David said, I, Lord, love those that love thee, and hate those that hate thee. Right. We must understand this is the nature of the most high power. The book of Exodus, chapter 15, and verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is what? A man of war. God is not all love. The scriptures are saying that God is a man of war. Right. As we mentioned before, a champion of war. Right. Ah, yes, in the Hebrew, God is a champion of war. God is not all love. We don't. The Lord is his name. The Lord is his name. The book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 8. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. So the so-called black man, Native Indian man and Hispanic man, must understand the importance of separation. Right. And if you realize something, every movement and every organization that is up and down marching and saying that they are here for black people, the one thing that they do not want to hear, and the one thing they will not accept is when the so-called black man say this, let us separate ourselves as the Lord said, as does say the Lord. Right. They do not want to separate because they have learned the doctrines of white supremacy right. and Christianity. Right. So we decide, hear what, we're going to join. The so-called black man could never get a chance to understand we need to separate from all these um, ideologies, ideologies, Salakia, <coughs> ideologies, and from all these nations. Read. The book of First Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 9. And do his will. And do what? And do his will. And we so-called black man, native Indian man and Hispanic man, shall do this, this one thing. 
Do the will of the Most High Power. We do And do His will. And separate yourselves from the heathen and of what? the land. Separate yourselves from the heathen of the land. And this is all the so-called black man have to do. All the so-called black man have to do and understand is to separate yourself from the heathen of the land. When the so-called black man separate himself from all these other nations, from their ideologies and their way of doing things, there is where we're going to start getting our communities and our homes in order. Because right. we have separated ourselves from their state of mind, their way of thinking, and their way of doing things. Right. That is what is going to bring unity around the so-called black man, Native Indian man, and Hispanic man. Right. You're only watching on the news today, you hear the saying, Rasta City and Muslim, the join arms and arms, the join in unity. And that unity will not work until the so-called black man separate himself from all the concepts of the other nations. That's right. Muslim and Rasta can never come together when they serve two different gods. Right. One serving a Rasta god and one serving, one serving a rock. These ideologies is foolishness. Right. These ideologies is ungodly, unrighteous. Right. And these ideologies do not have brotherhood and the spirit of the Most High behind it. Right. Right. And it's so it's time for the so-called black man to understand for us to generate true brotherhood, we must serve one God, have one power, one culture, and one set of laws. Right. It is time for the so-called black man, Native Indian man, and Hispanic man to understand this. The book of First Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 9. And do his will. Right. And separate yourselves from the heathen of the land. And separate yourself, so-called black man, from the heathen of the land. Right. All right, we don't. And from the strange women. And we also not going to separate only from their ideologies, but also from what? And from the strange women. And separate so-called black man from their strange women. Right. Wake up, so-called black man, and embrace everything that is black. Everything that is of the nation of Israel. Embrace it, so-called black man. Then cry the whole multitude and said with a loud voice, like as thou hast spoken, so will we do. And that is what we must hear from the so-called black man. When we hear these principles, those commandments and statutes by our forefathers, what our response should be? And I can. Like thou hast said and spoken, so will we do. When the priests and prophets in the ISUPK preach and bring this word to you, what should we hear? So will we do. So will we do. That's so right. poor black man. The white man is the devil. Our history is evidence. Who say I'm racist by definition? I'm prejudiced. Got a right to be hesitant. As the African Methodists, we the endangered species. They'd rather protect the elephants. We the sons of God like a seraphim. God shows the people from the Old and New Testament. Black power, Kwame, Yasha, Allah, black excellence. We your new rulers bow down to your eminence. They try to tell me I can't win All because of the skin I'm in But then I look in the mirror again And then we realize we better than them We better than them They try to make you think rich Why? To make your whole life a big risk So what you do? Commit a crime, get locked up, come home, can't get a job Man, that shit just make you think bricks They trap you Ain't no way out of this poverty Fuck being the prodigy Cause the world say you ain't shit and then they give you religion as soon as all that fails They like to make you feel it ain't this, it's you So what you do, you just can't get it right Yeah, they like to say the truth hurts, but watch me take a life And they like to keep you in darkness so you can't get the Christ Not knowing like Jacob's sons, he is real light, get it? So